welcome back to the LW Pharmacy School channel. I am super excited to be here with you guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, hopefully this week has been great to you. Hopefully this week you have been able to do everything that you said you were going to do. Um, as always, this video is being brought to you by LW Pharmacy School. If we have helped you, if this video has helped you, or if our channel has helped you to be successful and has helped you with your studying, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and give us a thumbs up, okay? We really appreciate that. Let me turn my phone off just so you don't get any type of interruption. Um, because I want to make sure that I am giving you my utmost attention and respect while you are doing your thing. Um, shout out to my new friend in Wyoming. Look, I ain't never even had nobody call me from Wyoming. I got a call today from a friend of mine in Wyoming who is taking her exam. Shout out to you, friend, sending you positive vibes um, and all you know positivity to go your way. Hope you pass. Keep you posted. You the best. I got another friend in Samoa uh, who reached out to me. So I'm so glad that you guys are watching me all over the country, all over the world. And I'm just glad that you have allowed me to be a part of your success journey. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. LW Pharmacy School, you can find us online at www.lwpschool.com for information on how to register for our 15-week course or even to be a part of our two-day uh, past seminar here in Houston, Texas. You can call me 903 295 5933 extension 101 or you can simply text the word PASS P-A-S-S to 74121 to uh, register and get some information okay this course today is going to be brought to you by LW Pharmacy School and this is going to be geared for my friends who are trying to pass that EXPPT exam a lot of you all are trying to pass that exam and so I'm here to help you. Like I'm always here to help you to make sure that you be the best you that you could possibly be, okay? So, uh, EXCPT exam study takers as well as PTCB exam takers, this is for you too. Um, but I did this on purpose for my friends who are studying for the EXCPT exam. Um, that particular exam is going to focus a lot on insurance billing. It's also going to focus a lot on pharmacology. Uh, so you want to make sure you are prepared. The first question we have today says Mary Williams is having a prescription field for am amadronate. I cannot say that, but I know what it does. Uh, she is the card holder on her prescription plan. Which patient code should the pharmacy technician input? Is it zero? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Okay. She is the plan holder. And that means that she is the insurance holder. So because of that, she is A, which is zero. Okay. Now I'm going to be honest with you. The answer here is zero, but you will notice that some insurance companies will note or will list the uh, plan holder as one. So if you pick one that's not completely wrong, um, because some plans do do it differently, but in regards to this particular insurance, it's going to be zero, um, and you'll see that here, okay? So you'll see the child listed as one, the and uh, child two, and then child three, uh, the spouse is one, and the employer is going to be zero, okay? So... Um, it can be a little different. Um, this one says child one, but ultimately the spouse will be one, the child will be the second one, the third, the second child will be the third, the, so on and so forth. And the employee, which is Mary, would be zero. Don't let this confuse you. Um, it was what I could find to add to our PowerPoint because you know I'm very visual and I like to make sure that you have something to look at. Um, and so with that being said, you know, don't allow that to confuse you at all or to make you feel like, okay, that even right. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, some other card holders will have the employee listed as one. So if that's the case, the subscriber would be one and then everybody else will follow in line behind them. Okay. And that's just from experience inside the pharmacy. Now the book won't necessarily teach you that, but experience will teach you things that books won't. Okay, don't we all know that? Yes, we do. 
DAW code, check this out. So this is gonna be again an insurance type of question. A physician has written a prescription for Glucovich and has authorized the generic to be dispensed. The patient is requesting the brand name to be dispensed. Which DAW code should the pharmacy technician input? Now you'll notice I have these DAW codes over here to the right because I want you to take a picture. Yes, take a picture of this. Uh, or write this down so you can begin to familiarize yourself with the actual codes and what they stand for. Uh, in regards to this, the patient is requesting the brand name to be dispensed, okay? And so it says substitution allowed patient requested product, um, substitution not allowed by provider, substitution allowed pharmacist selected it, substitution allowed generic drug not in stock, substitution allowed brand drug dispensed as generic, or we override it. That means that, you know, you can go inside the farm or inside the software and actually do an override. Uh, substitution not allowed brand drug mandated by law. Substitution allowed generic drug not available in the marketplace for something other than those options. This particular answer is going to be B, which is DAW code 2. And that is uh, the substitution is allowed. However, the patient requested it to be dispensed as a brand. Um, and because of that, we do give the patient what they want. Um, in this particular you know, scenario, and so we would list that. One of the ways that you can remember these codes is zero is no product indicated, right? So that means that the doctor didn't say anything, anything like that, so we just did zero. Uh, one through five is going to be for substitutions, right? So substitution, um, well, I'm sorry, number one is substitution not allowed by the provider. So who would be the provider? Is that going to be the insurance company? Is that going to be the doctor? Is that going to be the patient or the, um, or is that going to be the pharmacy, right? Uh, and then it says substitution allowed patient requested the product, okay? Substitution allowed pharmacy selected the product. So the provider in this instance will be the doctor, substitution not allowed by the provider, which is the person who provided the prescription. Oh, you're smart. You knew that already. Um, and so because of that, um, the number one is going to be where, you know, whatever the doctor requests, if the doctor requests the brand name, it's going to be a DAW1. If the doctor, you know, does not matter or doesn't really have a preference, um, then, uh-oh, then it would be, you know, two through, um, two through five. Okay, and then six would be override, you know, and then seven would be substitution not allowed, brand drug mandated, mandated by law. That's kind of hardly ever, you, you'll hardly ever see that. Uh, but you do want to know zero through five. You want to know exactly what those mean. So please remember that. Okay, don't forget that. Uh, you will notice too that this first Monday or this second Monday, I did not do a crash course like I always do because we're having our seminar here in Houston and I'm saving up all of my juices that I'm going to be teaching. Look, my mouth got watery. I'm saving up all of my information to give to you in person. February 21st and February 22nd, we are hosting a two-day pass seminar here in Houston, Texas. You come here to Houston, I'm going to be over by the Hobby Airport area, uh, delivering this awesome information to you all for you all to study and to pass the exam when you take it. I'm also inviting my friends who are experts in pharmacy uh, and operate as pharmacy technicians. I mean, I got some who own their own pharmacy that are tech. And then I got some who, are, who own their own IV certification school. They're showing up, okay? And then I got some friends who teach IV certification and they showing up. Um, I got some friends who work at closed door, mail order pharmacies, compounded pharmacies. Look, I got friends, okay? When I tell you I got friends and they're going to be in the building, if you want to be, you know, in a circle where you can grow and where you can learn information and where the sky is not the limit but the beginning, then you want to be in the place, okay, that seminar, two-day pass seminar to find out information and to learn how you can actually register and to be a part of this awesome, awesome, awesome event. I want you to text the word PASS, that's P-A-S-S, -S, PASS, to 74121, okay? Look, y'all know we've been working together for months on months on months. 
It's time for you to take this test and pass it. Let me tell you something. Have a productive week. May life continue to bless you abundantly. And I look forward to seeing you in Houston, February the 21st to the 22nd, so we can get to know each other a little better.